drinks, because the more you drink, the funnier we get. <laughs> right? All right, well, I want to introduce the next person on stage, and I want to hear loud applause for Ryan Costello. All right, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, now. Hey, now. So my name's Ryan, everybody, and uh, I've been here in Italy for about two and a half years now. And uh, when you spend that much time in Italy, you notice some very fascinating things about the Italian people. You know, one of them is what I like to call the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde effect. And what do I mean by that? Well, when an Italian invites you into their home, right, they could not be more caring and giving and generous, you know. You're going to eat well, you're going to have plenty to drink, there'll be cakes and cookies and coffee. You know, you're very, very well taken care of. It's wonderful, it's a pleasure. However, if you take that same Italian, the very same Italian, and you put them behind the wheel of a car, they become a raging, insane, angry monster. It's total Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And I'm not just talking about young people. I'm talking about young people, old, you know, middle-aged people, old people, old ladies, okay? My mother-in-law. You go to her house, you have to bat her away. She's going to be pushing so much food at you, you know? Oh, come inside. Do the post. Oh, my kitchen, farm. No. My friend, you cafe on there, don't know. But you put this woman behind the wheel of her, of her little car. You know? Ma do cazzo vai! Mondo vuole! Oh! Oh! Incre the transformation is incredible. It's truly unbelievable. You know? Uh, the Italian at home, the Italian at home with children, couldn't be more overcautious. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, it's too much, you know? No, no, vai piano, vai attenta, vai piano. No, 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 non toccare, non toccare. You put that same Italian behind the wheel of the car, hey kid, all right, you know what, fuck it, just ride shotgun in my 86. Just do like death trap, no seatbelt, you know, that's the guys. You know, it's totally cool, it's all. form of thrill-seeking, you know. Some people like to bungee jump, others like to skydive, and still others like to take their car on the Via Tuscolana during rush hour. You know, it's that intense. It's that intense. But that's at its best, people. That's at its best. At its best, it's a form of thrill-seeking. At its worst, it is a white-knuckled stare-down with death itself. Seriously, you take your life into your hands, when you step behind, when you get into a car in Italy, you know, and I don't mean in the statistical sense, like, oh, actually, you're more, you know, statistically more likely to die in a car accident than, than a plane crash. No, I mean, when you get to where you're going, you get out of that car and you kiss the fucking ground. Because it is not for the grace of God that you arrived at your destination unscathed. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know, and everybody's in a hurry. Everybody's in a hurry. If you make the mistake of driving the speed limit in this country, it'll just be passed. Just be passed the whole way. You know? And why is that? I wonder. Because this is the land of La Dolce Vita. This is the place where people cherish La Dolce Far Niente, the sweetness of doing nothing. So if you're going somewhere, only just sit there and not do a fucking thing. What is the hurry? <laughs> Seriously, what, what is the rush? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Another thing I've noticed, and I don't know if it's just me that notices this kind of shit, but when you're driving here, nobody here can do the thank you wave. Nobody does the thank you wave. You know? This is especially mind-boggling because this is the land of the hand gesture. You know? Every Italian from birth, they learn three languages. They have the regular Italian, they have the local dialect, and then they have hundreds and hundreds of hand gestures. You know? It's a full-on language in itself. You know, you got this here, you know, you got this, you got this, this one, 
you know? And if it's not a hand gesture, if it's not a hand gesture, it's like this weird facial expression with a one-syllable sound, you know? Whoa. <laughs> so for all these hundreds and hundreds of hand gestures, you can't do this, you can't do this, it doesn't even require any effort, you know? You just knock it out with your hand. <laughs> A half-ass thank you wave is better than no thank you wave at all. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny gestures because I'm, of course, American, and in the States, we really only have one. We really have one hand gesture. Can anyone give it to me? <laughs> Can any Americans out there give it to me? <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, the gentleemen from San Francisco. That's right. It's the fuck you. The middle finger, you know. We just have the one. But, oh, we love our one hand gesture, you know. It's not even enough just the symbolism of it. We actually put our whole selves into it, you know. We actually mind the act, you know. It's not just fuck you. It's fuck you. <laughs> We love her. We love our one hand gesture. We love it. You know? And, and I, think, I think a good fuck you hand gesture is important, you know? It's the mark of, uh, of a cultured civilization, you know? An advanced civilization. Which brings me back to the Italians. Uh, they don't really have a good fuck you hand gesture. What, what is the Italian equivalent of the fuck you hand gesture? Well, it's this. Cornuto. <laughs> What does that mean? When I got here, I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> Looked it up. English translation is cuckold. Right? I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> I had look, the reason I didn't know what it meant is that no one's used that word for 400 years. <laughs> it, of course, means someone whose wife has been unfaithful to them. But this was an insult four or five centuries ago. <laughs> Since then, we've moved on to bigger and better, more modern fuck you gestures. But no, here in Italy, sticking with the classic. <laughs> sticking with the classic. Keeping it real. The problem, though, is that, you know, it's not really relevant or applicable, you know, in modern society. You know, imagine trying to use it on an American, you know. Like, hey, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? The American would be like, dude, I'm what does that mean? I don't know. Like, ten, ten, like, like heavy metal. I don't. Know. Like, well, uh, no, it means uh, you're a cuckold. You're a cuckold. <laughs> Not helping me, bro. I, I, don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, it, you know, it means your wife's your wife's been unfaithful to you. you know? Dude, I, you know, I'm not married. I, You know what? It just means fuck you, alright? It just means fuck you. What? Fuck me? No, fuck!